All right, our opponent goes first. We go up against Omnath, which I'm not sure what's up with us going up against the five color decks, but don't know if it's fair. Can't really say one way or the other. I do know that this deck is pretty potent. So it might be just. But it's not like we win the game. We gotta do some setup. We got to do some setup. So they're just gonna pass the turn or just like that. Alright, let's play our commander. Probably gets countered. No, it doesn't get countered, okay. Swords of Plowshares, okay. Uh, we will put it in the command zone. Destroys the blind obedience. Transform our temple. And there we have it. We're at five mana already. Uh, can we do it again? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it just, he's just taking the bait. <laughs> he's just taking the bait like... <laughs> like you know we want like you know we want our commander to die right I don't, I don't think he understands I don't think he understands that we want our commander to die uh okay what do we do <laughs> oh man that's funny okay let's play blood artist Arvod and Bitter Trial. We'll pay three life gladly. <laughs> Kill the Omnath. We'll gain some life. <laughs> I don't know. That's it's just it's just funny to me. It's like And you're going out of your way to kill this commander that wants to die. You're actually helping me. Okay, he just blows up the board, okay. It's actually good because he gets rid of Blood Artist rather quickly. All he's played is removal. <laughs> Alright, Phyrexian Tower. Um, <laughs> I play Hard Martial Argo again. What happens? I, th I think he'll go and destroy it. <laughs> We gotta draw some cards here. Four, five, go to five. Um, yeah, we'll do that. That way we get a full hand. Oh yeah, we got some good stuff now. We got some good stuff. Just don't play Emergent Ultimatum. I mean, not, not Emergent Ultimatum, well, that, that one too, but just don't play Ruinous Ultimatum. Oh. Well, let's do this. If that's that's going to get destroyed. I'm going to get two free extra cards off of it. One for the land, one for the Kai's Ghost Form I'm going to play. Let's do this. Alright, we'll pass turn. Mana Confluence. I think I'm gonna play High Marshal Argo.
And I think we're gonna play Kaya's Ghost Swarm. No! Uh, okay. Well, I tried. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of... I think Samwise might be... Samwise might not fit here. But I also don't want to get rid of anything I could, could potentially use. So let's get rid of two lands. Just hit us with removal. Constant removal. Pretty much. Um, I guess I'll cast a farewell. All creatures. And hell, why not? All graveyards. And we'll play our ill core. Sadistic Pilgrim. Romantic Lantern. Okay, it's the first card he's played. It's not removal. <laughs> More removal. <laughs> removal the deck. We're going to sacrifice our Pilgrim. Gain some life. Um, I really want to do this. Let's do this. We have the Tempo, so we can sacrifice him. Do you have anything in your deck that's not removal? I actually could have kept it in the graveyard. Alright, you can take that. Take that with you, buddy. Play Drivnod. And we'll swing. That's game next turn if he, don't, if he doesn't have a mass board wipe. Ooh, baby. This guy is playing everything. Tear Asunder, Wash Away, Shieldred's Edict, Ossification, Go for the Throw, Assassin's Trophy. What is this deck? Do I have a way to gain some life next turn? I do, actually. Huh. Okay, let's do this. We gotta get past... We gotta get past Atraxa. Uh, let's just do Vampire. We gotta get past the track, so. Also, vacation, go for the throat. Look at which of the moors and sacrifice one of our creatures. Let's do that. Sacrifice. Which of the moors? To our hand, right? So let's just let's just do that. So we gain some life there. And I'm not gonna play body launderer since you know we might actually get board wiped next turn. I could have actually sacrificed a Drivnod and then played Samwise. I like to keep it for that, for this exact reason. I go for the throat. Which of the Moors? Ossification. This man just got rid of our whole board state. Uh, okay, let's do this. Uh, 
Let's do this. And then we'll play Samwise. At their end step, of course. Drivnod. Since Drivnod is an 8 3, I like to have the 8 power on board. Uh. Man, I don't even know what to do anymore. I don't know why auto tapper wants us to tap wants us to tap the temple I'd rather tap this there we go I'd rather tap the Phyrexian tower over the temple broker strong finally something that well I mean that's removal on a modal spell but you have more removal, please. Do you have more removal? Oh, casualties of war. Oh, great. More removal. Okay, we're gonna sacrifice him. I'm gonna leave him in the graveyard. Okay. Let's see. Try to see if we can close out the game. I don't think we can close out the game just yet, but... Yeah, opponent, I don't know what you were doing, buddy. Two, two, all this removal, and he still couldn't handle us. And he played a Traxxer. Unbelievable. Get out of here, man. Such a boring deck to play against. Removal tribal. GG's. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Gnome here. And today we're checking out High Marshal Argul, and this is gonna be a quick rundown of the deck. Basically, you just want Argul to die. There's a few ways to do that in the deck. We have things that sacrifice, but we ultimately just have him die by players removing him or us blocking something or us targeting our own Argul with our own removal. It rarely happens, but it can. And you just want to transform Argul's blood fast when Argul dies and then replay it again and then have Argul die again and then conjure the Argul's blood fast. And then you want to have Argul on the battlefield again, have it die again, and then you can start making two, four, three white and black vampire demon creature tokens with flying. I know it sounds like a lot and it sounds crazy but this deck is so much fun and this is just a quick overview of the deck you'll see most of the pretty main cards in the gameplay let me know what you guys think of the deck down below and let me know have you made the argo deck yet i would very much like to know help me out a ton and hit the like button hit the subscribe button without further ado let's get right into the deck and see how it does shall we okay we're up against goshen tai and we have a cleansing nova in opening hand i am gonna love casting this against them kind of the only reason I keep this hand. It's kind of slow. We don't have any ramp, but we do have a couple good aristocrat dudes down here. Play the isolated chapel. Let's run out the cruel celebrant. Go Shantai. Let's see what you're all about. They're not going to be too happy. Oh my goodness, that's a really good uh, top deck. I'm not going to be too happy once we start blowing up all their art of uh, enchantments. They are not going to be a happy camper. That was supposed to help them ramp up well in the bet. Or at least supposed to help them fix a little bit. 
Okay, let's play High Marshal Argo and pass a turn. Hope he doesn't have an enchantment that exiles our commander. He could bring back. He could bring back the Sanctum. Oh, do, does he have? He doesn't have a white source. Can't bring back the Sanctum that way. Uh, let's play Tesa. We're gonna swing in here. We want our commander to die, so we get the damage, that's good. If we if he dies, that's good. It really doesn't matter. Golos. Just whipping out all the good stuff, aren't you? They're not going to be happy once I play this Cleansing Nova. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, I had a feeling he might have something like that. Oh, that's not that's just sad, isn't it? That's what I get. That's what I get. Uh we need a way. We we need a way to kill our hard martial argul. Oh man, I was gonna actually use the cleansing nova this turn too. I was just gonna destroy all artifacts and enchantments and just get rid of their whole board state. Ah, uh, kind of screwed me up. Yeah, I just got a swing here. Oh boy, here comes the Golo stuff. Oh, Sanctum of All, rather. So not only does he have Sanctum of All, he has Golos. Interesting. Source of Plus, here's a Linda. Wow, he just has everything he needs in hand. Doesn't he? He's got everything he needs. Could play the blood letter acquisites. Yeah, I think we could do that. One, two... Yeah, let's do that. And now we might as well just swing out. I think we... He blocks here, he blocks here. We swing here, we swing here, we swing here. Yeah, let's just swing out. I think we have to at this point. The blood letter is either gonna save us or not. <laughs> ah, that was beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, the opponent goes first. We're up against Edgar, Charmed Groom, which Edgar could slot really well into this deck that we're playing. Uh, oof. not entirely sure if this works out. We don't have a white source. Let's mulligan one more time. Okay, we'll keep this. Throw away. So we'll throw away the flames. Reprieve is good here. 
Dust Rose Reliquary. That's pretty good. Uh, we send it back. We send it back. We draw a card. Kind of works out for us. And we are going to play R. My Marshal Argul. Seems like they're a Orzov lover. Okay, so we don't really want to get rid of theirs. But we do kind of want to get rid of ours. So we can exile it. Right? That way, they actually don't get the death trigger. We'll target that so it gets exiled. They don't get the death trigger. It has war too, so it's going to be a little difficult to get rid of. Welcoming vampire. That's a good card. Let's play the Replicating Ring. And let's uh, Infernal Grasp. Gotta keep the ramp while we're destroying things. Edgar. Edgar comes out to play. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. I think we can file the Galandriel, then play our Argo again. Hope he doesn't exile Argo, though. Metallic Mimic. This is just straight up a vampire Kindred deck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna block that. Go back to the command zone. Decline the transformation. Okay, so we can have Linda. Better triumph. Pay three life. I think I'll get rid of this. And then Shield Red Edict. Or do I wait on that? Let's wait and see what they play. Let's let's see what their move is. And then whatever it is, we can uh Shield Red Edict something. Make them have to sacrifice something. Thorexing in arena. Okay. Shield Redeek. Of course they choose the Elder. I actually should have let him swing first, shouldn't I? That would have been the right play. Let him swing first and then uh kill the metallic mimic. I got too excited there. We could blow up Metallic Mimic, Fraction Arena, and the Eggers Coffin with the Heliod's Intervention. A Farewell would really hurt us here. We don't have that many lands. And then uh, th if they have a Heliod's Intervention or something, that would really hurt us. Bloodline Keeper. Alright. Let's sacrifice our commander. There we go. We got some, we got some vampire boys. Or ladies, however you want to interpret that. <laughs> uh... Let's see. We could play our commander again. I think I need to take out 
There are things here though. We do that. Swing like this. Nice, they do take the block. It's kind of what I wanted. And yeah, we're gonna pass a turn. Yeah, this is just vampires. This is just vampires for them. Not for us, though. You're gonna play that? Knowing your back is against the wall? Don't know that's a good idea. Oh, roaming throne. That's so good. That's so good, I gotta play it. I gotta play it, swing, and then do the thing. We'll sacrifice the flying vampire here. Oh, that's so good. And let's go get something that's gonna really hurt them. That's Liliana. That can do some work. I don't really know what I go and search for with Diabolic Content. No. No freaking way, dude. No way. <laughs> Guess what I should have searched for was the uh, Teferi's protection. Uh, oh boy, kind of sucks, doesn't it? Uh, well, I guess what we can do here is gain a bunch. We gain a ton of life here. And then uh, we'll draw some cards. That is rather unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Alright, well. Just how the game plays sometimes. You get hit with a farewell. No! I guess they were just... Well, they're... They don't have a lot of mana, so they can't really double spell a lot. Can I play my commander? No, I can't. I can fatal push this, though. I don't know why I didn't do that last turn. Give me something good. Tesa? Tesa's not bad. Uh, go to the graveyard. Blood Letter of Aquazalt. I'll keep that on top. That's pretty dang good if you ask me. Yeah, I'm gonna... Gonna pass a turn with a 4-4 zombie. Look at this guy's face. That's Vito, right? Vito got that I love being a vampire face. Like he's too excited to be a vampire. Like Asterion. I don't know if you guys played Baldur's Gate, but Asterion. It's funny because I got to the part where Asterion's trying to trying to bite you and I ended up killing him. Hopefully that's not spoilers for you guys. Utter end. That's utter bullcrap. That's what it is. I 
I don't want to play Loran, man. I feel like... you got to be kidding me. What? This guy has pulled the best removal out of his deck. Farewell, get lost, utter end, source of plowshares. Like, I can't do a single thing. It's gonna have removal, watch. It's gonna have something to remove this with. I already know. Okay. Finally, not removal. Lifelink. Of course he swings, right? I'll take the block. I need the Argo's blood fast. Decline the transformation. Haha, <laughs> what do you know? My own removal spell. Take that. Take that. Lucky ass comes to the battlefield. Okay, I can't block. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? This is why your deck's not closing out games, my friend. You have too much removal. Oh, this is great. There's only so much removal. That can happen. <laughs> That's what you get, sucker. Get out of here, all that dang removal. GG's.